Hi folks, thanks for tuning in and welcome back again. What you're looking at is a Bark River Bravo lineup that I have here. And this is the bulk of the Bark River Bravo line. I don't have the Bark River Bravo 2.5. That knife has not yet been released. And I also don't have the Bark River Bravo 3 because I thought that knife was a little big for me. But anyway, this review is really going to be aimed at those folks who may be doing research or perhaps someone who is trying to make a decision about what size Bark River they may want. And there's not a lot of reviews online with the knives stacked up and I thought I would share them with you so you could see what they look like in a side-by-side -side comparison and you could view the scale. So this is going to be just a brief overview of the Bravo line. I'll start at the bottom and I'll work my way up just touching on each knife. At the very bottom here we have a Bark River Pocket Bravo and this knife was reintroduced as the Bravo Micro and really the only difference between the two is the steel. The specs are the same. This one is 154 cm and the newer version is S35 VN and that's really the only difference. Anyway, getting back to this little sucker here, this has a 2.2 inch blade or 5.7 centimeters. It's coming in at 1.3 ounces or 39 grams. So it's a very lightweight knife and very compact. As we move up to scale here, this is the Bark River Bravo Necker. It has a 2.9 inch blade or 7.3 centimeters. And this one's only 2.8 ounces or 79 grams, another small compact knife. This one here is the big brother. It is the Bark River Bravo Necker 2. It has a 3.7 inch blade or 9.5 centimeters. This one is coming in at 2.9 ounces or 82 grams. Over here we have a Bark River Gunny and this knife has a 3.7 inch blade or 9.3 centimeters. It weighs 5.6 ounces or 158 grams. This one here is a very popular knife. It is the Bark River Bravo 1 Lite. It has a 4.2 inch blade or 10.6 centimeters. It only weighs 6.6 .6 ounces or 187 grams. This one here is the regular Bravo one and this knife here is actually the knife that started the entire line and this one also has a 4.2 inch blade or 10.6 centimeters this one weighs 8.2 ounces or 233 grams and really the only difference between these two knives if I can just show you is going to be the stock and if you look at the spine right there you could just see that the original Bravo on top here just has a thicker spine it's a little more robust than the Bravo light that's at the bottom and that's how they were able to shave some grams I believe the handle may be skeletonized as well and they're able to shave some additional weight but it really the blades are the same and the only difference is really in the weight and the thickness. Over here we're moving up into a larger knife and this one's another very popular Bravo. This is the Bravo 1.25 or the Bravo one and a quarter and this has a five, five inch blade or 12.7 centimeters and it's coming in at nine ounces or 255 grams. On top of that we have the Bark River Bravo 1.5 and this has a 5.8 inch blade or 14.7 centimeters this one's coming in at 9.8 ounces or 277 grams and finally on top we have the famous Bark River Bravo 2 and that one has a 7 inch blade or 17.7 centimeters the weight of this knife is 14.7 ounces or 416 grams. If you are asking me which knives I prefer for EDC, it is going to be these three down here. They're small, they're lightweight, and they're compact. 
This would be my preferred hunting knife, the Bark River Gunny. For bushcraft, I prefer the Bark River Bravo 1 Light. For survival, it would be any of these three, the original Bravo, the one and a quarter or the 1.5. And for premium heavy duty chopper, I like the Bark River Bravo 2 on top. So there they are, the Bark River Bravo line. I hope you enjoy them. And I'm sure whatever knife you choose for yourself will be the right one. Thanks for tuning in and see you all next time.